All right, guys, welcome back. I think this is part six. Today we'll be putting the heads on. And I've got started by trying to get all this oil off the uh, top of this block here. And it's kind of hard to do. I've been using these blue shop rags and some prep oil. But these, uh, these rags, they catch on every little thing and they'll leave a good bit of, of lint if you ain't careful. We'll make sure there ain't no debris in these cylinders. And because uh, this will be the last chance you'll have to get it out. Dust or any kind of dirt and grit be, need to be get, gotten out of these cylinder walls. So on our heads, uh, Normally your heads would be universal, one or the other, but on these heads I got the what uh, the coolant temperature plug on the uh, right hand side is was frozen in the block. He couldn't get it out, so I want to make sure that the pass that the driver's side gets the uh, head with the hole for the sensor because on the that's where the sensor is located on this truck so we'll make sure to get the right head put on this right hand side the one that's got the plug so first thing we're going to do is get us a head gasket and I don't really say which way is up but I'm thinking but it goes on there like that. Got these little locate pegs here that go in there. And then we'll just make sure we everything looks good. And it does. So now we're ready to set the head on. sensor uh, plug this thing should have a, a plug and you can kind of tell it looks like it's been welded up the other one is threaded with a hole here so that's the one that, where the temperature sending unit will go on the other side so he want to make sure that I got that on the right on the uh, right side of the engine all right, so now we're just a matter of uh, bolting it down, and uh, we got these ARP head bolts. All right, so these ARP bolts look like this. They come with the washers in a bag, and they also come with some assembly lubricant, so we'll use that. Well, I feel kind of stupid. I think I did this whole head without even them, without the camera running. But uh, what I did was I tightened them hand tight and then starting in the center right here, the center right between the two exhaust ports is number one. And then towards the back of the engine is number two these two here is three and four and then five's here six is here seven eight nine ten 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And I did them three steps and went 30, 50, and 65. So that's one head and all I got to do is now is the other head. This is that sensor hole here I was talking about that's on the driver's side. So I thought I'd run through this sequence one time since I uh, you didn't see the other part of it. So we're gonna start right here in the middle. I got I got my torque wrench set for 30 foot pounds. Go to the back of the engine for two. And low. So it is. Alright, so we got our heads on. I was going to reuse the push rods that I had. But they are the old style one piece push rods. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy new push rods with the balls on the ends of them. And uh, so in the next in the next uh, video, which might be a few days, probably next week, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the lifters in, push rods, rocker arm assembly. We'll try to get it, uh, try to get it adjusted and put the uh, probably won't put the uh, harmonic balancer on until after I get everything adjusted so I can use my little uh, socket that fits over the end of the crank here but uh so that'd be the next video will be really adjusting these heads and uh, I've got some hmm, got some different style rock arms that got the machine shop give me they're used but they are self self adjusting I think what he said oh yeah you kind of see that I got a little indentions here and here and I thought I got my old ones back but I don't see them but I got some new nuts to go on them new lock nuts Always, probably a good idea to replace lock nuts because those are the distorted kind and once you get them on there and reuse them a few times they can back out on you so until then guys thanks for watching and stay tuned for more